Women in Georgia once again have wider access to abortion after six weeks of pregnancy. A judge just struck down the state's ban, which has been in effect since 2022. Governor Brian Kemp has since spoken out against the ruling, and Georgia's attorney general quickly appealed it. But providers said they've immediately resumed offering abortion care. These latest developments in abortion access have come just two weeks after ProPublica's reporting on Amber Nicole Thurman and Candy Miller, two Georgia women who died after they couldn't access legal abortions and timely medical care in their state. Their stories have reverberated through the U.S. Senate, the vice presidential debate. There's a young woman named Amber Thurman. She happened to be in Georgia, a restrictive state. The fact of the matter is, how can we as a nation say that your life and your rights, as basic as the right to control your own body, is determined on geography? There's a very real chance, had Amber Thurman lived in Minnesota, she would be alive today. A demonstration outside the Georgia Capitol a conversation between Vice President Kamala Harris, Oprah Winfrey, and Amber Thurman's family. This week, the case of a young woman who lost her life after the abortion ban took place in Georgia made national headlines. Amber's case came to light through the reporting of journalist Kavitha Serana uh, with uh, Pro ProPublica. Initially, I did not want the public to know my pain. I wanted to go through in silence, but I realized that it was selfish. I want y'all to know Amber was not a statistic. Mm. She was loved by a family, a strong family. When ProPublica came to my home, I pushed them away. No, 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 but Kavithia, she kept, she was persistent. She said, it was something that you needed to know. People around the world need to know that this was preventable. In a Harris speech in Atlanta. And her name, and we will speak her name, yeah. Amber Nicole Thurman. 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 And she had her future all planned out. But because of the Trump abortion ban here in Georgia, she was forced to travel out of state to receive the health care that she needed. Under the Trump abortion ban, her doctors could have faced up to a decade in prison for providing Amber the care she needed. 41 senators also introduced a resolution inspired by ProPublica's reporting that calls on hospitals in all states to provide emergency abortion care when their patients need it. In reversing the six-week ban, the state returned to its previous standard, allowing abortion until about the 22nd week of pregnancy. While abortions under that Roe standard are allowed to resume in Georgia, the state's Supreme Court could quickly end that access when it rules on the case.